is, has the Republican Party done enough to support this administration? Well, uh, there's two answers. There's before Brett Kavanaugh and after Brett Kavanaugh. Before Brett Kavanaugh, I don't think the Republicans were doing enough. But I think uh, the Brett Kavanaugh ordeal really woke a lot of moderate and establishment Republicans up. They see what we're facing with these just unhinged, radical, hateful Democrats. And I think in seeing that common danger, Republicans are now uniting behind Trump like they never did before. Now, you're not the mainstream Democrat that we see today in the news and everywhere. Obviously, that's worked in South Jersey. How do you feel about Washington? I think it can work in Washington, and I think we really need to work on how Washington operates. Um, it's disappointing sometimes to see what happens in Washington. It's disappointing to see, literally, I talk to some people that I know there, and they say that there are Democratic restaurants and Republican restaurants and Democratic bars and Republican bars. Years ago, it wasn't that way. And even in the days, not that long ago, in the days of Bill Clinton, you know, and then before in the days of Tip O'Neill, and there were great leaders on both sides of the aisle that were willing to work together to achieve some common goals. And that's what we need to do. Now, does that mean we're going to agree with, uh, on everything? No. Does it mean we're going to be on the same page every single time? Absolutely not. But it does mean that if we work together, and if we are civil, and if we have intellectual honesty in the way we deal with these issues that we can move forward. Now moving to Stockton University, looking at the veterans, we are ranked one of the best in the nation for helping Veterans Affairs. If elected, how would you help the veterans? Well, of course, uh, I believe that veterans have, have helped this country, but once again, I don't want to fall into the trap of Democrats of uh, dividing the country into little groups. Uh, my dad was a veteran, I served in the National Guard. But why do American veterans serve in the armed forces? Because we want a free country with equal opportunity. You have other countries like Japan and Germany had military caste and elite. Uh, so I, I just like the idea of a citizen soldier where somebody serves in the military, they defend the country, and, and what they're fighting for is a free, prosperous, and fair country. And to me, when veterans get that kind of a country like my dad did, uh, that's that's enough to be proud of but of course you know the, the, the soldiers that get hurt uh, you know with the post-traumatic stress the injuries psychological and other we have to do whatever we can to help them get readjusted and Stockton's doing the magnificent job uh, of doing that I'm really tired of hearing about um, homeless veterans veterans without health care veterans without jobs so I think that we need to really address those issues. And let me talk about that a little bit. There is an idea out there that veterans could have, rather than uh, just have to go to the VA in, from our area, they'd have to go to either Delaware or they have to go to Philadelphia. Veterans should get a card. And I would like to see this be a pilot program. And they should be able to use that card with their local doctor with their local dentist, with their local therapist, with their local pharmacy. Why? Because some veterans are very old and very sick and they're traveling very far for health care and they can't get all the health care they need locally even with the clinics. And that is not what we should be about. You know, we make these wonderful speeches on Memorial Day and Veterans Day and, you know, all the great holidays, and we speak about Americans and we speak about veterans and we speak about the flag. Well, I say if you want to talk the talk, you have to walk the walk. They deserve better, they deserve more, and we need to help them more. And that's one way to do it, to try to get more local health care where they would have a choice. Some would still go to the Veterans Hospital, but not all. And I think that's something that we should try to keep pushing and working on. Now recently, the Supreme Court confirmation process with Brett Kavanaugh has been a recent divider among Democrats and Republicans. What are your thoughts on that? I think that, you know, I, I can understand why it was, but it is time to move on now, whether folks like it or not. Um, I don't think it's time to start impeachment proceedings. I don't think it's time uh, to go forward with even more of this rancor. It happened. This is done. Well, it was just awful. As I publicly stated, it reminded me of, of the testimony that condemned uh, innocent uh, Jewish and black men to be lynched 100 years ago. Uh, the fact that it was so hateful, no matter what he said, was uh, taken the wrong way. 
Uh, and I, I don't believe any American should have to go through that type of ordeal, uh, given his record of achievement, his record of character, and to have somebody come up out of nowhere without you know, any supporting testimony, without anyone to corroborate a word of what she said, uh, and so many inconsistencies and so many motives uh, to hurt Judge Kavanaugh, the fact that the Democrats and the media uh, kept that going as long as they did was a disgrace to this country. I want to do our... best. I want America to again be a land of opportunity, whereby you know we have a, a definition called the general welfare, which is different from the European idea. The general welfare in America, where each individual pursuing his or her own dream together brings a happy and prosperous country, and that's what I want. I don't want people to fe feel they're they're channeled or they're, they're forced into uh, things. I want people to be free to create and have opportunities, and that means low taxes, easy to get permits, uh, and where they're not you know, spending all their money on taxes, fees, and everything else. So I'm urging them to hashtag walk away from Democrats and go back to the traditional uh, American values that worked for 400 years. Thank this you, is the sir. best country in the world. It's afforded me so much opportunity. It's afforded so many people opportunity. So our job is to make sure that people continue to get that opportunity. The government, the U.S. government is part of that. Local government, every level is part of that. So I would say that they should take courses and learn about it, obviously, get involved a little bit, get involved in their student organizations, whether they're Democrat or Republican or Independent. There's a place for everybody and vote. God almighty vote, because it matters a lot. And then most of all, when they go on and get a little older, to get involved. Somebody said to me once, oh, I could never be a senator. Heck, I never thought I could be a congressman. I never knew that I could be a state senator. I didn't start out this way, but I just had this faith that if I worked hard enough at it, that maybe I'd have that opportunity and that chance, and I have.